has been a lot of uh, attention and money spent on the move towards electronic medical records. Yes. Uh, but I think you have ideas that go beyond that on how uh, maybe even a, in a bottom-up way we can see uh, empowerment of the individual as the patient driving this. Uh, can you give me a couple of ideas on what kind of initiatives the government is doing with uh, in the medical space? Well, thank you for that, Vijay. So we have this combination of a strategy where we're digitizing the nation's healthcare system and a number of stakeholders are engaging. It's a 20 plus billion dollar program that's part of the Recovery Act. And as Vijay described, that's essentially a top down initiative. We've got funding in Washington, we've got rules, procedures, money is now flowing to doctors and hospitals throughout the country. But he's asked the question about bottom up change. And a lot of what we're talking about in the power of networking and information technologies as it applies to healthcare may actually come from some of these bottom-up initiatives. The one that uh, comes to mind is what the president calls the Blue Button Initiative. In August of last year, the president spoke to the Disabled Veterans of America. It was a speech where he announced the end of the combat mission in Iraq, apropos of tonight, the conversation that we're going to have about Afghanistan. And in that speech, the president said to the Disabled Veterans of America that he challenged the VA to allow veterans to, at the push of a blue button, to download a copy of their personal health data. Because the VA has a pretty advanced electronic medical record system, and it invites individuals to, about a million of them, to have personal health records where they store some basic information, their medication history, and the like. Now, this is great. As you say, the VA has been a pioneer. A lot of Americans don't actually know this, but yes. they were a pioneer in digitizing records using electronic um, uh, decision support systems and so on. Um, but you know, if I got a blue button, I, I'm in the private sector healthcare system here in Manhattan. Uh, I press the blue button, I won't get anything because my doctor is all paper. So <laughs> how's this gonna help anyone? Well, so what's powerful about this bottom-up change is the president issues the challenge, the VA accepted it, October 7th it went live, our partners in the DOD and Medicare followed. Over 300,000 Americans have downloaded their blue button. So v Vijay's saying, well, what's in it for me? Well, this is becoming a grassroots movement. Two weeks ago, Aetna, the largest repository of personal health records, they have 10 million users, announced that they were going to blue button their database. And not to be outdone, the CEO of Walgreens flew down to Washington to announce that he too would blue button the Walgreens database for personal health records. So overnight, effectively, within a year, over 10 million people will have access to this capability. Now, in the spirit of where we are, rough consensus, running code, the spirit of the internet, it doesn't have your entire medical record. It starts with uh, your medication history. In the VA's case, in the DOD, they're gonna have lab data and others. But my point, VJ, is that while we have the larger vision to digitize the system, and right. we have seen the numbers of physicians that have adopted going from 20% of the American uh, physician uh, to 30% adoption in a year, we have this bottom-up movement to liberate some information so that actual networking and information technologies can be put to work to bring meaningful applications on that information.